That's a little bit of uh, what you hear on a lot of Johnny Cash songs, especially his uh, uh, earlier songs with when Luther Perkins was his lead guitar player. And uh, Luther had a unique style, and it was one that uh, we still play. So you know it was good, and you know even though it wasn't the fanciest kind of playing, uh, it doesn't always have to be. A lot of times the simplest songs are the ones that get through. Uh, the songs that have the uh, sometimes the least amount of words and the least amount of sometimes even the amount of thought seem to uh, catch on uh, quite a bit because a lot of times music uh, it's made to think about or, or you know kind of delve into but a lot of times it's just have fun and listen to and uh, so that's kind of like uh, a lot of the songs that that uh, these guys did that and they were just entertaining and they were fun so start off you start off with five two three times and a four two two times then another five two then a six two and you kind of pull it it's just a and then an open six and then you just play six five six five and six and put a four in there every once in a while it's a six five six five six four six five six, uh, five four. You can do it either way you want to. Doesn't matter. And if you want to do a little hammering in there, you, can, you know you can kind of dress it up any way you want it. And then when you want to move, uh, if you after you play the kind of the first part of the verse, then you want to move into the next uh, section, which is in the key of A. You just hit a. Um, Open six, six two, six three, six four, and open five. And this time it'll be a five, six. Five, four, six, five. Five, four, six, five. Kind of a combination like that. And then back to your. Then the end part is an open five, five two one, five two, uh, and then a uh, uh, four two, and back to a five two, and then a six three, a six two, kind of kind of bend it. Bit kind of the way it started, so you put it all together. There's other parts to it, but uh, most of them are pretty easy uh, and kind of easy to learn. Um, I kind of probably didn't give you enough information on that. Uh. Uh, there is a little bit more uh, notes in there. I was, uh, and I showed you when you come back from the A and you go back to the E. And it does go five, open five, two, or five, one, five, two. And it's a, and it just alternates five, two, six, two, five, two, six, two, five, two. And then you get bend that six, two. And that might be the ending. Endings can be as shorter and 
uh, or as long as you like. But anyway, uh, that's the uh, main part of the song. And uh, if, if you want to learn to finger pick it, you can uh, kind of do the same thing with the finger pick. <laughs> to a different B flat, a B seventh. I mean, this I just went to a regular B. When you bar with your little finger, you bar the, uh, on the fourth fret, the bottom uh, four strings, and then you bar the way well, you really bar the whole thing. But the, the main chord, uh, notes you're going to get out of it, I want to get are the um, five, two, and six, two up here. And that's no different than doing it right here. As far as the 5 2 6 2 goes, uh, the rest of the chord, of course, is quite a bit different and gives you that instead of, but it's all, it's all B. So, anyway, if you decide you want to do a little finger picking on it, uh, kind of do it that way. It's kind of, you, know, you kind of got to mix your fingers up and uh, we'll get into some uh, techniques on how to do that uh, a little later, but um, right now we'll just uh, leave it as it is and you probably want to straight, straight pick it anyway. So. Keep on doing it and keep on picking, and uh, we'll see you next lesson. Mm -hmm.